One big one, big one. Oh, yeah. On, on, another big one. Another giant, another giant. Fish on, fish on. Like a leaf. Look at the size of that small man. Look at the size of that small man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, guys, uh, we need to talk. I've got to get out of town. I'm sure you probably saw in the intro, um, it's raining here in Kansas. And the bad part about that is that it's absolutely not gonna stop for like two weeks. The lakes here are seriously already anywhere from 17 to 30 feet high and rising. There's no way that I can guide here right now. Um, it's just gonna get bad and I need to get out of town. And I think I know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go north to Door County, Wisconsin, Sturgeon Bay, where I've always wanted to go. It's a huge bucket list trip for me. I need to break a five pound smallmouth. I need to catch my heaviest bag of smallmouth. There's absolutely no way I can do it in Kansas right now. I have nothing going for me here right now. My business is toast for the next like month. Um, and I, I need to get out of town. So I've already got the boat packed up. I literally decided I was gonna do this like within the last hour. I've got the truck packed up. I've got Tucker packed up, the boat's covered. It's time to go. So I hope you guys enjoy this trip. Uh, it's gonna be really interesting. I'm just kind of winging it along the way, but right now it is the absolute time to be in sturgeon bay so i really hope we can get this done i really hope you guys enjoy this little uh, mini series trip here i'm going to be on the road for about almost two weeks so come along with me and uh, let's see where this takes us place is absolutely insane welcome back I'm so happy to be up in the north country I made it in uh, just around like 12 hours didn't film very much on the drive it was dark and I drove through pouring ass rain for the first like three or four hours took a nap around two pretty much I guess uh, goal of mine on this trip is to break five pounds but also I'd like to have a 20 25 pound sack of brown fish too biggest thing is I'm just gonna have to dial it in and put it together so I just put the boat in here in uh, Egg Harbor, close to my Airbnb, and we're just gonna go drive around and see what we can't figure out. But the biggest thing is just getting out there and enjoying this, because it is just absolutely unreal. I am so, so jacked to be in Door County, and I'm super psyched for you guys to uh, tag along with me. So let's get after it. Tucker, you ready? Are you chilly? Yeah, it's kind of chilly. Well, let's make a run and see what happens. This place is unreal. I don't think the camera does justice how clear that water is. I mean, everybody knows it's clear up here, but you have to see it in person. I mean, we're just on the backside of this island here. So we're gonna get some stuff tied on. I'm gonna show you kind of run down what we're gonna be using and maybe set up a drift instead of using the trolling motor, just be sneaky, but all right. Well, um, I think I'm just gonna start with a jerk bait, cover some water. That 110, God, that color looks good in the sun. It'll look really good in this clear water too. Um, other than that, I have no idea. We're just gonna cover some water, 
Um, maybe just kind of drift around. Water's 10 feet deep right here, even though it looks like it's two feet deep because the water's so clear. First cast, Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, 2019. Tucker loves this island. Look at all those damn seagulls. You gonna go in there and get them? Excuse me, seagulls, can you tell me where the smallmouth live? On the Great Lakes, in Sturgeon Bay. Well, we just pulled in uh, to another bay. I ran north a little ways and found some warmer water. And I just saw my first smallmouth scoop by right as we pulled up. Water temp's like 47 back up in here a lot of sand over there i don't know what the substrate's going to be like on the bottom but we saw one so try and fish some dark spots drag a tube around now it's getting colder it's weird there's another one okay we're around them now there goes another one right there yep <coughs> okay you convinced me well, they weren't uh, super tankers, but they were the right flavor. So, pitch this tube around and see if I can't catch my first Great Lakes small jaw, smalling jaw. Oh, I just missed my first one. I just missed my first one. It felt like a dink, but that was a thousand percent a fish oh okay good sign there he is oh my god i just missed another one in the almost exact same place as that last bite that first bite that i had i made a drift down that way and it just got pretty shallow and so now i'm staying out a little bit deeper i don't know why they're biting so weird Oh my god, I got one. <laughs> no way. Oh my god, and he just came off. Well, I got to see him. That first uh, fish was on the tube. So, um, that would have been cool. Sorry, Tucker, can't lick that one. Damn it. Piss balls. Oh my god, he was on there the whole time. Let's not lose this fish, Tucker. Just a little guy. Look at that in the clear water. He had that for so long. Tucker, get! Hey, hey. My first Sturgeon Bay smallmouth. He was just running with it. Well, <laughs> you gotta start somewhere, uh, but that would be the first sturgeon based smallmouth of the trip. So I'll take it. He needs to be about four and a half pounds to five pounds heavier, but that's a way to break the ice. Oh my God, I just rolled him. I just saw the fish flash. I thought I was on a piece of moss or something, and then the fish rolled. There he is. Got him. A little better one. Look at in that clear water. Unreal. So much fun. I mean, he's not a giant, but it's a good place to start. It's a, yeah, it's a little better than I thought chunky that's a little better a little football sturgeon bay football on the tube no that was so cool i don't know if that fish is on a bed or what but like i said i he bit the first time and he rolled and i saw him flash and i missed him and then he must have came after it so pretty in the clear water man hi tucker what do you think hell yeah 
There he is. Got him. I'm in the land of the dinks, but I mean, there's fish here. But let it be known for you MFers that may not know, uh, this is not why you come to Sturgeon Bay in the spring. Just a baby guy, chunky though, fun. He's like a cookie cutter of that uh, first nice one that I caught. Slab sides, those black spots on the belly. Just the prettiest fish in clear water, man. I can't wait to have five of these in my live well that are all over five pounds. You bet. Okay, well, we'll call it good. We gotta go check in to the house and take a shower, recuperate. Before I go back out, uh, I've like been up for like 30 some hours at this point, I think. So maybe take a nap, but that was fun. Fun little rip. We're gonna fish some completely different stuff this evening. Uh, we'll catch you back at the Airbnb. Okay, uh, we're back on the water. Um, I didn't film at the Airbnb because if you guys have ever seen the movie Wanderlust with all those like hippies and it's like a swinger fest, it's pretty much just like that minus the swing part. It's just really weird. We're back, totally different area, completely different side of the lake. Water temp's already 51, so it's like what we figured out earlier, I think it's gonna be all right. So we've got Tucker on board again, again. And uh, we're just gonna scan around, pitch tube, can hook a giant small joe! Okay, bye. Okay, well, this is just uh, fantastic. So we just rolled in to this little creek from the main lake. Uh, the water temperature is 54 and a half. <laughs> so if I can put something together, um, I think it should be lights out. But I don't know anything. I have no idea what to expect other than the fact that this water temperature is absolutely right and this current is ripping. On, on, good one. Oh my God, it's a northern. It's a northern pikey time. Oh, well, you sure had my heart going. Hammer handle, too. You little bastard. I broke that tube off and uh, picked up the swim bait. And look who it is. Slime time. Well, uh, I know a lot of guys that would probably be bummed on that, but <laughs> one of them's not me. I'm always happy to see Mr. Northern Pike. Blah, 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 blah. All right, Tucker, I don't think you like that, do you? Oh, you do? Okay. Adios, psycho.